Hey guys, this is a video sort of for you Nadine, you wanted to know how I do my electro fills and uh, I assume that you mean, you know, all the little sound effects and sounds going off here and there. Um, so here's how I do it. The key to my electro fills is samplers, using samples. Um, so in this example here, I'll just play the example for you and then show you. Okay, what I, what I, I, I kind of explained this in one of my other videos, uh, my other videos, but man, I'm all good showing you, it's all, it's all in the name of the game. Okay, so how I've done it here, I've color coded it. So these green ones here, very simple. It's just my one, it's basically one sound, but three different bass lines. Okay, so those I'm only using uh, three different synths, and then these red ones here, I've, I've chopped them up to show you even you know how they are actually filling in gaps, and I've put them all in red. So all these red ones are all all samplers. Okay, EXS, EXS, there must be twelve there or so. Okay, and they're all just different things. See the synth shots, techno samples, guitar, bass samples, everything, synth sounds. Okay, so they're just different things. And I set them to do, and I, you know, within the sampler, it's amazing. You can obviously, it's just almost like a synthesizer. So I've got ones here. I've got techno samples, techno pitch up, techno pitch down. So they're just the exact same samples, except one of them pitches up, one of them, you know, pitches down, one of them stays the same. That's just an example of, uh, yeah, what I can, what you can do with lots of samplers. Um, and how, how I go about making it is, I'll, I'll show you here, I'll play the bass line. This is how I start them out. So you can hear that, that by itself wouldn't be, you know, it, probably, it wouldn't be enough. It's not hectic enough. So then... But I, when I when I'm making those, when I'm making that first initial bass line, you know, I, the more you do it, the better you get. But I'm actually sort of when I'm when I'm playing the notes, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm in making a conscious effort to leave gaps where I know I'm going to fill them up with synths. Okay, and that's how you can get you know that sound like Porter Robinson and Spencer and Hill where they just get sounds going all over the place. Okay, but you've got to leave gaps because it sounds better and they can they cut through the mix a lot better. So here we go. I'll just this is how I do it. I'll show you how the bass line's playing, and then I'll just add a little um, sample in or an electro fill, whichever way you want to say it. I'll I'll add them in, and then you'll see how it all starts to build up to a pretty full-on melody. Add this one. And the next one. It's quite full, and this is without the bass line, this is all the samples going. And with.
the key for electro fills, I believe, is don't worry about making all these little one shots with a, you know a full synth, full VST. Use a sampler or drag samples into your sequencer. It keeps your um, CPU low, and you know they're just little, they're just little one offs So they're just filling a little gap. So don't spend too long on them. So that's why I reckon loading up lots of samplers, and then you just you just search through it. You just tap a few, and it sort of it sort of fills in your baseline. Man, that's perfect. I hope that's helped. Any questions, or if that wasn't the right sort of thing you wanted, let me know. But um, any questions, guys, just fire them through. Thanks.